Mine's my big ears, which I have mentioned on here before, because I've got really they're sticky... Not, oh, they are! They're they're not. Not. Oh, look, said now, you. you know, I do yeah, this. This will end done. up on the front of Bella Best Woman, Woman's <laughs> Own. <laughs> Cheers. Now magazine online. You <laughs> see, I think, they, I think they stick out quite a lot. Not at all. Well, oh. but isn't it funny? You see, I think they do. And when I was young, my mum used to cut my hair. Cheers, mum. <laughs> like that, you know, that... <laughs> so they were really prominent. And so the minute I could, you know, grow my hair over my yeah. ears... And mm. even when other people say to me, they're not, they're fine. I'm just very self conscious so even if I do tuck my hair sometimes I talk sideways so I'd be like hi, <laughs> hi welcome to loose women or if I'm filming outside do a lot of filming if the wind picks up I think oh no oh here come the ears oh. I think the, the term from is bat ears yeah thanks Linda <laughs> Called it a bat ear. That was the terminology for it. Yeah, she had hers pinned back. See, it's people like you. I confess my insecurity, <laughs> I'm and now saying. I'm Ruth Battier Langsford. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done, though, I no. did actually. I did when I was in my late twenties. I thought, Do you know, what? I'm just going to get go and get them done. And I went to see this plastic surgeon. who was a very nice man. He was explaining the procedure. You know, it's, it's fairly straightforward. And all around his office were photographs of people that had really bad facial disfigurements, who obviously he had helped. Mm. And there were lots mm. of before and after pictures. And I remember thinking, it's not really, that bad. No. really, Ruth, get over yourself. Yeah, it's yeah. just some sticky out ears. Yeah. And I never went back. We and love your bad ears. Do you know what my bad ears? <laughs> <laughs> you like, Jaxie? <"Taxi?" laughs> That's your worst problem, you were What's yours, then? I mean, my thing is just that uh, I've always had, even when I danced day in, day out, and I was tiny, mm. I always had, like, a little belly, uh, just like that layer of fat, and, and it was just... It's just always been there. Even when I breathe in, it goes a bit flat, but it, it's just always been squidgy. Yeah. And also, I've got dimples in places that I just don't want them. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, on, your on the bottom, on the face, <laughs> I've got some down here, some up there. I've got the dimples are cute. Of, no, there's too many. They're, 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 they're. Some, <laughs> some of them. Who has dimples there? Nobody. They've dropped. I love the dimples. Thanks, and it's special, so, darling. Thanks, darling. Oh, that's <laughs> lovely. That is. But, is uh, I just yeah I, if, if I could I would change it and also my nose I always wanted a nice chiseled nose I always used to do this <laughs> with my nose <laughs> pulling it in that's normal that's it <laughs> because I want it to be chiselled and I always felt like I had a baby's nose on a grown up and it just was squashed on and I didn't want that do you not like it I always say that's cute do you not oh, like being no, described as cute I want to be cute I want to be <laughs> <laughs> An ex boyfriend of mine, you scrap up and you go, Whoa, oh, Marty! That's why he's an ex boyfriend. <laughs> and looking at gorgeous Penny Lancaster sitting there, you, can't you would never think you had any insecurity. You're so beautiful. Yeah. Um, well, like, thank you. What's but, yours? Yes, we all have them. Mm. And um, strangely, when you grabbed my hand, then I thought, Oh, God, has she felt my sweaty hands? I have hyperhidrosis. And, and this I don't is know a condition, isn't see it? Little yeah. Um, shiny hand going on here. A lot of the time, my hands are bone dry, and 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 they're fine. And then it's uh, something to do with the nervous system. And I'm not saying I'm sitting here really nervous, mm. but because you know, even when I'm excited um, and looking forward to something. <laughs> don't go there. Dirty, dirty, mushy. When I was a teenager, and and it was it was really hard at school because I'd be doing exams and have to wear little white cotton gloves because if you were you know writing an essay out, the page the few lines below would get damp, so I couldn't write on those lines. God, it was that bad. Yeah, and then I would go to the doctors, and there'd be liquids. They suggested electrotherapy. <laughs> then there was an operation to cut a vein under the arm, but you, your lung could collapse, and then you could start sweating somewhere else. There's Botox, when but I mean it's. So it's just one of those things that I've, I've learned to live with, but I still get embarrassed. So because... Actually, that's very difficult, because when you meet people, yeah, the first thing you do is, like, hello, hello. Well, the first thing I do is, hello, yeah. Is that what you did with Rod? Yeah. You went in for the lunge. In fact, when I first met Rod, um, he, he wanted to get a manicure and the place was shut. And I said, oh, I'll do your manicure. Then I thought, oh, what have I just said? Because he's going to be looking at his my hands doing his hands. Oh, no. So I had the lights really, really low, and he kept saying to me, are you sure you can see what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can see, I can see, because I was terrified Give that he would my hands. So, it. Is it something like the, when you talk about it, it happens? It does. The moment I speak about it, if I say, look, my hands are dry, and then I feel this tingle, and it I starts happening. I can see happening. now. Yeah. I can see and, now. And, um, you know, when I did, in my early modelling days, if I'd be modelling swimwear or something where I'd be a little more scantily clad, um, 
I'd always ask the photographer, could you put a put a, a, a wind machine on me, please? And he'd be like, aren't you cold? I said, no, under the lights, it's hot. But it was just so the air would dry my hands. And what's it called? Tell me, what's it called? Hyperhidrosis. Hyperhidrosis. Sort of more sweat glands in my hand than I should have, so it overreacts. Have you ever spoken about it before? No. No? Wow. <laughs> well, now we know. Now we know. <laughs> we all have something. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. Thank you. For, I've, I've never heard of it before. I'm sure people oh. get in touch. So you yeah. can't be the only one. Yeah.